In today's video, I'll talk about Linux ls command. Well, ls command gets used to see the content of your current directory. For example, if I ls here, these are different files and directories that are available at the moment into my home directory. Well, we have some other flags that we can use along with our ls command. For example, if you want to see the files with all of their permissions, their size and their ownerships, just write here ls space dash l hit enter. So here we have owner, their groups, their sizes and the permission of all those directories and files. We have some of the hidden files in our directories as well. To see all those hidden files, just write here ls space dash a and it shows you all the hidden files as well. Earlier it was not showing these files but now we have all those hidden files as well. To see the file types means if the directory is executable or not, just write here ls space dash capital F. Here we have backslash in front of some of the names here and then we have static. Well, backslash means these are directories and static means these are executable files. So this is how you can find out about executable and directories. Now let's see the content of more than one directory. I will write here ls and I will write here desktop and after that give space and I will write here downloads hit enter. Here you can see it says in desktop we have file.txt, zubat.txt and in our downloads we have document. So this is how you can see the content of more than one directory with your ls command. Well now let's say you want to see the sizes of your files and directories in your human readable units. For that we have ls space dash lh after that you just need to write the path well i only want to use this one onto my home directory that is why i will just hit enter here you can see it says 4k 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 and then we have some other sizes earlier it was showing something like 4096 now it is showing us all the sizes in human readable form well if you want to see all of this information in descending order by their size you just need to write here ls dash l capital s hit enter but let's say you want to see the long format list of all the files and you want to see all those sorted by their modification date we have a command for that as ls space dash ltr hit enter and here we have all those files sorted by their modification date and we have long format for all those files as well in here so this is how you can use your ls command and this is how you can use different flags along with it. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We'll see you in the next one.